National Assembly Majority Leader Adan Dwale and former Deputy Speaker Farah Malim have sparked off another round of political supremacy and propaganda wars as another hate video emerged. This time, it is a video seemingly showing Malim inciting his people against other tribes. And Dwale says he wants to see Malim roasted with the same kind of heat that was brought to bear on Dwale a week ago. And as KTN's senior political affairs reporter Duncan Hayamba reports, Dwale took off his gloves just as Malim and Wiper leader Kalonzo Musioka led a major rally in Garissa to show Dwale who has the numbers. Garissa town played host to opposition heavyweights in what was termed as former Deputy Speaker Farama Alim's homecoming after joining the Wiper party. <laughs> Led by Wiper Party boss Kalonzo Musioka, the opposition members were explicit about their mission in town. <laughs> Farah Maalim, now Wiper Party's deputy party leader, has switched from his former base Lagdera and is now seeking to unseat Majority Leader Eden Dwale as Garissa Town Member of Parliament. As the leaders condemned the government for what they termed constant harassment of opposition leaders in the coast region. But even as they went about bashing Duale, another controversial video recording has emerged, which appears to show Farah Alim addressing a gathering at a Nairobi hotel, which his opponents say it's blatant ethnic and sectarian incitement. In the video, Farah Maalim is seen talking about matters that touch on national security by allegedly stating that the continued stay of the Kenya Defense Forces in Somalia is not about flushing out the ragtag Al Shabaab militia. And in a classic case of tit for tat is a fair game, majority leader in the National Assembly, Eden Duale, who came under fire last week after a similar audio recording went viral, is equally calling for stern action to be taken against Ma'alim.